November 9th. Today, police told News 10 they have narrowed the time frame of Oswald's disappearance down to just 20 minutes. Authorities say Oswald left a heating and cooling business on Maple Avenue at 435 in the afternoon. Oswald and a repair tech agreed to meet at one of two houses she owns in the 1600 block of 2nd Avenue. GPS confirms the tech arrived at 455. Oswald did not. Now, those who knew Oswald are reacting to the latest developments tonight. They're hopeful someone will come forward with information to find her. News 10's Heather Good spoke with Oswald's daughter. Heather joins us now with more. That's right. I spoke with Kara Oswald about her mother's disappearance. She declined to go on camera, but says she feels in her gut her mother is gone. Others are still holding on to hope because it's all they have. I pray to God that she's OK. As police release new information about what led to the disappearance of 77 year old Alice Anita Oswald comes renewed efforts to find her. Everywhere we go, we're always watching that for that vehicle, make sure she's OK. Chad Weaver says he's lived right next door to Oswald for more than a year. An animal lover, Weaver says Oswald would often visit his dogs and feed them treats. Now even they notice she's missing. They keep watching for her every day. You know, it's like a piece of their heart been broken. Weaver, Oswald's friends and co-workers at Harmony Haven Sanctuary, and even her daughter say they find the timeline in this case puzzling. I just feel like this house and disappearance makes makes feel like a case of unsolved mysteries. They all say they're looking for the missing woman, her car, or any clues. They're always wanting to know, make sure she's okay, you know, because this is such a tragedy to the in this town. And as you heard, police ask that you keep a lookout for Oswald's Burgundy Honda CRV. If you have any information, you're asked to please contact the authorities.